I'm joining a meeting with a company. insane day i'm so tired i was watching my story and this picture popped up as 23 hours ago and i was like oh my god that felt like a couple days ago ef tours host group trips so everyone on this trip i'd never met before but everyone's there to have a good time and you're experiencing a whole new place with new people let me show you guys my hotel room it is a mess I haven't put away anything, but I am obsessed with the bathroom. So pretty, I love that shower. I am going to take off my makeup, have a little self-care time, I'm exhausted. I kinda wanna hop in the shower and just take a hot shower, but also like, I'm falling asleep. I cannot believe I'm in another country. It is so crazy, but I love it. I'm so happy to be here. Tomorrow, I'm gonna feel way more prepared and comfortable and ready. I am so proud of myself for doing that right now. I'm so exhausted, but I feel so much better. That hot shower was definitely the move. Tomorrow is my second day in Amsterdam. We have a full schedule. I have to wake up at 8 a.m. So I'm gonna sleep, and this is probably gonna be some of the best sleep of my life. <laughs> Good morning guys, I just finished getting ready. Here's my outfit. I'll do a better outfit of the day later. I gotta go down to breakfast right now. I can't be late. All right, good morning everyone. Today is the second day in Amsterdam. I just got ready. I woke up this morning at 7.30. I have on some fuzzy leggings underneath my jeans, and then I have on this long sleeve bodysuit underneath this top, and then I'm wearing my Jordans today. I'm gonna put on this Lululemon crossbody and my puffer jacket. This was our first full day in Amsterdam. We started off with a walking tour, and then I went out with some friends to eat. I love how we had a lot of free time during this trip, so I got to explore with my new friends. We went to a couple coffee shops, and then at nighttime we met back up as a group and went on a canal cruise, and then all out to dinner. Good morning everyone, today is my last day in Amsterdam and it's also New Year's Eve. I got a super late start today, I don't even want to tell you guys what time it is, but it is the afternoon. Um, I didn't get home until like 4am last night, so I was so exhausted. But I took a shower last night, washed my hair, and then this morning I blow dried it again, and I need to take pictures today. It's so damn grey here. Alright guys, I just finished getting ready for tonight. It is New Year's soon. I literally have a couple more hours of 2022. This is so crazy. I'm wearing a black long sleeve dress, which I think is perfect for the weather and also looking cute. And then I have on these tall boots. And I'm gonna add my brown jacket. I have hanging. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So I have my bag, I have my gloves.
This was absolutely the most fun New Year's I've ever had. We spent the night going to bars and different clubs. We walked so much. Oh my God, I was in so much pain because I was wearing those boots. I saw the best fireworks show I've ever seen. Amsterdam goes so hard. Like they all are out to party and have a great time. The streets were filled with people. I swear everyone was out. It was so fun because you just walk around the canals and in between the buildings. It's so unreal. This was honestly just one of the best experiences. Everyone does holidays so differently. I'm just obsessed with how other people live, what it's like other places, how they celebrate, how they get together and have a good time. I definitely want to come back during the spring for a different vibe of Amsterdam because it was cold, but it was so beautiful. guys it's time for an update so today's january 1st it is the first day of 2023 and this is a great way to spend my first day of the year today i made it to our second stop of the trip which is paris i got out of the bus today that we took and i saw like the very top of the eiffel tower like over the buildings and i was like is that real like am i dreaming right now like there's no way i had a long ass night last night i went so hard i was like you know what it's new year's like like everyone was out. It was so much fun. It was so crazy. I've never experienced anything like that before. Just so many people like having a good time. Insane fireworks. The best fireworks I've ever seen. Now we're on to the next place. I really enjoyed Amsterdam. That was the only place out of the three for this trip that I haven't been to before. I was like really excited to go there because it was going to be a totally new experience. It's also crazy. I was checking my DMs because I started posting my Instagram stories yesterday. It's it's crazy how many of you are from here. Like I had no idea I had so many viewers and followers on Instagram and YouTube that were out of the US. Like it's so cool. It made me smile. I was like, oh my God, this is so crazy. Right now I'm getting ready. It is like the evening time. We got off the bus and then a group of us went and had food, coffee, and I had a crepe. I spoke French, guys. I don't know if you remember, but in high school I took two years of French and in college I took two years of French. And now I'm getting ready because we're going to the Eiffel Tower tonight. And I'm so excited. Our tour guide is taking us to like a really good spot. Guys, I can't believe it. I can't. Like, I'm so excited. It's been raining every day this trip. And it sucks because when I do my hair and like I blow dry it like this, it'll like get super frizzy and curly in like two seconds as soon as I step out into the rain. Also, look how crazy this blow dryer is. It's so cool. It's on this wall and watch. It just turns on as soon as you pull it out. It's a mess in like two seconds in here. This is my outfit for tonight. It's very simple. I feel like I've just been wearing the same outfit the entire trip. I really want pictures in this outfit in front of the Eiffel Tower though. This is cute, it's casual. This top is Aritzia, the jacket is Aritzia. Jeans are Motel Rocks. I'm wearing my Jordans and then my black purse I'm gonna put on is from Princess Polly. And then I have my jewelry as usual. It doesn't even so seem a real, no, right? Oh, it's so pretty. So this was our first night in Paris. It was honestly so magical, like seeing the Eiffel Tower in person, everyone was tearing up. It's just unreal when it's right in front of you. So then my group of friends and I went out, we went on the subway and walked around just to explore and try to find somewhere to eat. We ended up at this restaurant, which I loved. We all shared two bottles of wine and then we had dinner. I had this mini ravioli that I will never forget. It was so bomb. Like the Parmesan on top was so good. I was so excited to be in Paris. This was what I was probably most excited for. Oops. 
saw that's so damn this camera like it's good but also i feel like it's just bad sometimes like the quality should be way better on here than my phone but it's not the window only opens up this big so i just stuck my camera like through here and out the window for that view for you guys Getting dressed right now. I just had breakfast downstairs at the hotel. I had to wake up at seven this morning because breakfast was at eight. Today we're doing sightseeing. We have like a little sightseeing tour and then we kind of want to walk around, go to some stores. Yeah, so I'm wearing Aritzia top. This jacket's from Aritzia. Pants are from Urban, my same Jordans. I've been wearing these like every day. And then I'm gonna wear my brown coat over and I'm gonna bring my beanie too, because why not? It's supposed to rain, but only this morning. So I'm like, should I even wear this gray jacket underneath? Cause the whole reason I was wearing it is cause it has a hood, but I feel like it doesn't look the best. And like this maroon top would look good just with this jacket. Let's see how it looks without the gray. I think I'll just do this without the jacket. Wait, but that's kind of cute. Like, why do I actually kind of like that? I don't know, like the shape of it's just nice. Wait, this is cute. Oh my God, okay. So I can wear this. Is it cute? <laughs> I think. I didn't blow dry my hair today, actually. Today's the first day I didn't. I just slept in braids last night because I washed my hair yesterday. I like it. I really like the shape of the beanie. Like, it's just cute. Okay, cool. I think I'm ready. For our second full day in Paris, we started the morning with a sightseeing tour with the whole group on a bus. It was actually really nice learning more about the city and the art and architecture. After the sightseeing tour, I went with my group of friends out to lunch. I had pasta and we all tried escargot. And then we did some vintage shopping. It was so sad because none of us had any luck. This was the first day I actually got really tired and it kind of hit me how much I've been out walking around and not sleeping as much as I need to. Oh my God, guys. Okay, so today has been quite the day. It is 6.09. I have to leave here in 10 minutes because I'm going with some friends to get dinner and drinks, but I am so goddamn tired. Pretty much every day this trip, I feel like I've been going like a million miles an hour, but I've been handling it. Like, even though I'm not getting the most sleep that I probably should, I'm constantly like going places and doing this, fixing my hair, going out, like walking here, walking there, thinking about tomorrow's outfit, going back and doing my hair again, doing my makeup. Like I feel like I've been keeping up and it's been good. But today it finally hit me and I've been fucking exhausted. And then I just went to a purse store I've been wanting to go to because I don't think I'm gonna have time tomorrow. So I just decided to go tonight. <music> And I didn't find anything. So super unlucky day, but I just fell asleep for 10 minutes and now I have to wake up and get ready again. But I also just want rest. Like I am so tired today. I just have no energy. Also, I did not like my outfit today. Like I wore this maroon top and then these beige pants and then I had my hair like natural and it looked just awful. Like it just looked so bad. So tomorrow is my last day in Paris already. I just got here. Literally just got here. I'm also having to make content this trip obviously because it's all paid for for me, which is insane. I think about it all the time. I'm like, holy shit. Like I cannot believe I'm here with this travel company. I have to edit an Instagram reel tonight and get that sent over for approval so I can post it tomorrow. I'm like finally posting all my Amsterdam stuff and then I'm going to post all my Paris stuff. I have to get up. I have to get up. It's 6.13. I have to be down there. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Let's do it. One of the best parts, though, about coming back to my hotel room is it's clean. They clean your room, you know, in a hotel. So I get back and it's, like, so nice. My bed's made. I'm like, oh, that's... It's actually really nice to come back to. I'm also wearing this sweater. I haven't worn it yet from Maritzia. I got it on sale. It's usually like 140 and I think I got it for like 90. And then I'm gonna wear this black headband. I need to take cute pictures today to make up for my ugliness earlier today. <laughs> like when I post on Instagram, you guys don't understand how much thought goes into those. Even if it doesn't seem like my post was that exciting, like I contemplated posting that for like so long. 
fuck, what? It was looking good earlier and now it's not. I'm ready. I feel like honestly, my day will go depending on how good I look. Like, if I look like shit, I'm not gonna feel good. So this meal was one of the best I've ever had in my entire life. I had a margarita pizza and a Bellini spritz and it was so bomb. And look at my order total, it was 2222. Two, two, two. So after that, my friends and I found a speakeasy and we had drinks there. It was so fun. I made this little TikTok and then we took pictures and that was the end of day two in Paris. All right guys, so it is 9.44 and I just got back to my hotel room. Honestly, that was the perfect night out. Like we were all feeling so exhausted from the entire day and kind of on the same level of energy through the day. Like, as I said, this was the first day I felt like my battery was like drained. We decided to go out to dinner. We had drinks. We went to this speakeasy, which was really cute and cool. It was like a hidden like bar, which I've never been to one of those before. I saw it on TikTok. It was so fun. And that was like the perfect night night like it was super fun we went out had a good time did something like we've all been wanting to do and now we're back at our hotels and we get to unwind and relax and actually have like a good night of sleep that was honestly everything i wanted tonight um and i'm gonna work on some content for you guys just edit put together some things send over for approval i'm also gonna pick out my outfits for tomorrow i'll give you a rundown of what we're doing i have a full day and that was kind of the main reason i wanted to get back a little bit earlier tonight i want to have enough energy and be like ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is our last day in Paris. I cannot believe I'm already leaving. Like I'm so sad. We're starting the day with breakfast and then we're getting on a bus and going to Versailles. Definitely going to take lots of pictures and film for you guys while I'm there. And then we have a little bit of free time before dinner. And then I decided to sign up to see Moulin Rouge. Everyone in my EF group is going. So I was like, you know what? Let's try something different. And I have to dress up for that and for Versailles. So I don't know what I'm going to wear. I'll just tell you guys what I just did. So I was editing an Instagram reel and it was all from Amsterdam. And so I was putting that together. I edited it on my laptop and then also on my phone. And while I was doing it, I fell asleep for like an hour and a half. And then I woke up, I finished it, and then I sent it over on text for approval and got a response right away. And I was like, you know what? It's only like 4 p.m. in LA right now. Why don't I just post this right now? So I just posted it. I never do that. Like whenever I put together posts, I stare at it for like at least a day and then I'm like okay yeah it's good and I post it but I just did it because I was like you know what why not I need to post and I'm going to be posting a lot over the next week so might as well just start right now and now I'm going to take off my makeup and go to sleep because I have to be up really early in the morning So I kind of gave you guys the rundown of what today was gonna look like, but I woke up, I made it down to my 8 a.m. breakfast, and then it was right on the bus to go to Versailles in the morning. I had a lot of fun. We got breakfast right before we started the tour. I got a croissant and a latte, and we spent most of the day here. It was honestly so beautiful. I loved looking at the artwork because a lot of the pieces I have learned about in my art history classes, so it was so amazing to see them in person. And the architecture was amazing. Just everything was so fun. I could have spent so much longer there. We also got a mini tour of the gardens. We took lots of pictures. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> We actually got a lot of free time to enjoy our last day in Paris. So I went with a couple friends out to lunch. We had coffee and then we walked around. finally found a purse. When I went to Paris, I was like, the one thing I need to get is a new purse. So I found this one. It's so cute. I'm excited to wear it. And then I met up with a couple more friends for drinks. And then we all went as a group to dinner. 
All right, guys, I have to talk super fast. So it is nighttime. I'm headed out right now. I'm wearing black long sleeve dress. I wore it on New Year's. Tights, which I found today in Paris. And my boots and a headband and my coat. I told you guys last night, it was kind of a last minute decision, but my whole group is going, so like, why not? Um, just had dinner, it was delicious. I had salmon. I've had so much goddamn salmon this trip, which is crazy. I'm so full, but I also got a coffee because I gotta make it through tonight. It's my last night in Paris. I'm so sad. Okay, I gotta go. It's been amazing. We're leaving for London tomorrow morning. So tonight I saw Moulin Rouge. As I said, this was a super last minute decision because my entire EF group was going. So I said, why not? And it was actually so much fun. We sat at tables of six and had a lot of champagne and the show was actually super cool. So after the show, I went out for a couple drinks. I ended up not going to sleep until like four, so I only had three hours to sleep, which was just not, not a good idea, especially on my travel days. And I was going from Paris to London, and oh my God, it was the longest morning of my entire life. It's just a constant like, carry this, carry this, go to this train, move to this bus, okay, roll your super heavy 50 pound huge ass suitcase in the freezing cold, and then run over here, run over here, oh bag check. I just get stressed out, and especially not having any sleep, it was so rough. And on top of that, I started feeling so sick. So we got to London, I showered, we went out for a little bit, I went out for dinner with a group of friends, I think there were eight of us, and then I actually just came home at 6 p.m. So, good morning. I just slept for 15 hours. Took a hot shower this morning and I just made some tea. I've had four cups of tea now since we've been to this hotel because it makes me feel a little bit better. Got this medicine yesterday, but honestly, I'm just not feeling very good. I was really hoping the sleep would just knock it out. I have a full day today. This trip has honestly gone by so fast, but it's like I felt every single day. I've just been so busy. I've been going out a lot. One of my favorite parts is just all the people that I've met. I, I really can't tell on this lighting, so I'm so sorry. I hope that made it a little better. I don't know, I'm kind of just ready to wrap up this trip. Like, I think if I wasn't feeling really sick, then I would like not feel like that, but of course I got fucking sick, of course. I do every time I go somewhere, I should have known. The other thing is I have really not had an appetite on this trip, which I am shocked by because that was kind of what I was most excited for. Like going to Europe, I'm gonna get some of the best food ever, but it's like, I get hungry, I go eat and I eat like two bites and then I'm done. There's been a couple days I've had full meals, which is good, but then I'm back to like not eating at all. Like even last night, I ordered two sides for dinner. I had broccoli and fries. I took like two bites of it and then I was like, I don't want this at all. Like I can't eat this anymore. But the other thing is, I swear, people just don't drink water here. You have to ask for water at every restaurant, and then when they bring it to you, it's like the tiniest cup. It's like a sip of water, and that's all you get. So I bought this huge ass bottle last night, and I drank like half of it. I got this like medium size, so I think I'm gonna fill it up with the big one, because I need something throughout the day. So it was so unfortunate. I ended up being so sick my entire time in London. So I didn't really get to enjoy as much as I would have if I was feeling good. I went out to eat the first day with two of my friends. We walked around and then as a group, we did sightseeing and we also got to go on the London Eye, which was really fun. I've always wanted to do that. And I know after going on this trip, I definitely want to come back to each of these places during the spring because I feel like it'd be a totally different vibe. We also made it to the National Gallery and then we we went to a pub for dinner. I knew we had to go to one while we were in London. And now this is my last day. So we started out at another cafe and then I went with a whole group to the London Bridge. And then we did one of those cruises where you have tea. It was so cute. Oh my God, this is another thing I've always wanted to do. So it was super fun, really pretty. And I also made a TikTok recapping my entire day. So definitely check my Instagram and TikTok because I posted a lot of this trip on those. 
and we finished off the last day with dinner. So that was it for my trip. I had to wake up so early the next morning to head to the airport. I know I would have done so much more in London if I wasn't feeling so gross. I got home and was sick for like two weeks, so it was so bad. But I had such an amazing time. I tried to use every second of my time there wisely so I could see a bunch of stuff. And thank you so much to EF Tours for sending me on this trip. This was a once in a lifetime amazing opportunity. I had such a great time. And I also wanted to thank all of my subscribers because this would not have been possible without you. All of this was because of you guys. I have just never felt so grateful and amazing. This opportunity was such a dream for me. And meeting everyone who had signed up to go on this trip, it was so much fun. I made so many amazing friends. I know I'll forever look back on this trip and remember so many amazing things. And I definitely want to do something like this again. I think next time I want to do a trip during summer or spring so I get like more flowers and warm weather and green but the winter vibe was super fun so thank you guys so much for watching and staying until the end I would not be here without your guys' support so I love you all so much I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video